My name is Damian Jones. I serve here as the Minister of Music at St. Anne's Episcopal Church here in Middletown, Delaware. I've been playing the organ now for about a little bit over 35 years. Technology has changed. And one of the things in the world of digital and electronic organs is always the challenge to see how well it can simulate a pipe organ. With this, there's no difference. You still get that depth. You still get that feeling of fullness. I had heard of the Viscount Company during my time. I had spent some time overseas. I used to uh, play for a choir called the Philadelphia Gospel Seminars Choir. We had many opportunities to go travel uh, throughout the United States, and we had a chance to travel abroad. I went to go see an instrument that was located in Maryland, and I was absolutely blown away. And then I asked the committee to come down and take the trip. And they went in with the same hesitations that I did, because this is an instrument that's going to last you 25 to 30, 35 years or more. Once the, the presentation had been presented to them and they heard it, it was all positive. The things that I loved about the sound is, is that it sounds just like a pipe organ would. It speaks into the room like a windblown pipe would. And, and it changes, it varies. So if you use one stop in a particular day, that stop may sound a little bit different the next time you play the instrument again. And this reproduces those same exact effects. And it's amazing seeing how it plays in the room. And so while a clarinet stop may sound one way here at St. Anne's, you might go to a cathedral that sits 2,000 people and it may sound differently. The great thing about FISA's technology is that you're able to tweak that so that it sounds just like a clarinet, whether it be here in a smaller sanctuary or in a large cathedral. The amazing thing about this instrument is that within its computer system, behind each of those different sounds, there's a whole nother library of sounds to meet your taste. One of the great things about this is that you can also do it on the fly. It's one of those things you can create so many palettes, you never get bored. If a church is considering to purchase a new instrument, I would, I would tell them they would be very foolish not to consider a, a Viscount for their church. Um, if they were had their eyes closed and sit down and heard a Viscount with Physis technology and a similar pipe organ, it would be it would be close to impossible to, to tell the difference. I mean, Monty is a very good friend of mine. And, you know, I always say you always, it's always good to have a friend that will tell you the truth. You know, whether you like to hear it or not, and, you know, you say, ouch, and I love you, move on. But one of the things he has been very quite helpful in helping me and helping my church in our search for an instrument. And so when I told him that we had, you know, we had discovered the Viscount and the Physics technology, I knew I was going to get a straight answer from him. My name is Monty Bennett. I'm an organist from Charlotte, North Carolina, where I serve at a Catholic church, and then I also travel around giving recitals. I have played organs around the world, all over the United States, and throughout Europe, and England, and also in Israel, playing both electronic or digital organs and playing pipe organs. And so when Damien told me that they had gotten the organ and he invited me up to play, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I came and found an instrument that's got a wide variety of tonal color. I was really shocked at how realistic it is for a digital organ. Um, and it's just, it's a comfortable console. It's, um, it's easy to navigate. Everything is where it should be um, and does what you expect it to do when you pull a knob or push a piston. 
it just it just exceeded my expectations um, because I figured it would be good, but I didn't know that it would be as exceptionally good as it is. And then I didn't know if everything would react like I wanted it to react when I was playing. And I was pleasantly surprised when I came in the church and played that every attack is just slightly different. It's not so perfect that it becomes fake in its perfection. This has the little nuances that I've only experienced with some very high-end custom digital organ companies that incorporate that same kind of technology because no pipe organ is ever perfect. It's never perfectly in tune. The The speech of each pipe could, is just off just a hair and that's what gives it the warmth because it's a living instrument. It's like having an orchestra with a bunch of string players Everyone will be just slightly off, and that's what gives it the life and the warmth, and this organ replicates that same kind of thing as well. And I think that if anybody is looking to audition a Vicon organ, they need to come to St. Anne's to hear this instrument because it will change their minds about digital organs. I think they'd be hard-pressed to tell the difference between this organ and a pipe organ that may have been built in the 1920s or 30s. The, one of the big things, especially with digital technology, is that you're looking to get a digital organ for a lower price than you would pay for a pipe organ, but you want it and need it to sound like a pipe organ. When I heard Viscount's videos, I would have never known the difference whether it was digital or pipe.